if I discovered that the inside panes of a sash in my double pane thermal windows was fogging up, I explored the repair options. I didn't install this pair of double hung American Craftsman windows, so I couldn't take advantage of the lifetime warranty and get a free replacement sash as I did for this one when the seal on the insulated glass unit leaked and failed. I contacted a local glass shop. They wouldn't commit to being able to replace the IGU until I removed the sash and brought it to them to examine. They did tell me that a replacement IGU would cost around $100. Rather than pay for the glass shop's labor and have to secure the hole in my house until the glass shop repaired the window, if they could, I thought I'd experiment on the old sash that had been replaced by the warranty claim. After flipping the sash to the other side, I ran into trouble when I tried to use a utility knife to cut the silicone bead that holds the IGU onto the frame. Not only did I have trouble fitting the utility knife's blade between the IGU and the window frame, but the utility knife is too thick and when I applied pressure, it eventually broke the glass. I bought another utility knife with a thinner handle and a thinner blade. The gap between the bottom of the sash's frame and the IGU was so tight that it broke the blade on the utility knife. Before investing in a different knife and Kevlar gloves to protect my hands from getting cut, I decided to look into buying an entire sash from Plygem. I had the receipt for the windows from the previous homeowner. I knew where it was purchased, its model and make, and I had the all-important paper tag on the frame of the window. I was able to call Home Depot and order a new sash for about $150. I waited about three weeks for the new sash to arrive and it only took moments to swap out the old sash for the new. If you have to replace the IGU, don't grab just any silicone sealant off the shelf. Use a neutral silicone sealant. According to Cardinal Glass's tech bulletin, the wrong silicone can cause premature failure of the IGU. Before ordering a new IGU, you'll need to know its length, width, how thick it is, if it is filled with gas, and if it has low E coatings, and how many coats of low E coatings. I hope you found this video helpful. A thumbs up is always appreciated. Click on the channel name, Know How Now, to find other videos. And thanks for watching.